to the 2017 NCHA World Finals. I'm here with the winner of the $35,000 non-pro, Brian Pierce, who rode Raid. Congratulations to you, Brian. Thanks very much. Uh, it's been a ton of fun, I'll tell you that. Tell us about the win, what it means to you. Well, it's kind of the culmination of, uh, you know, a long year. You know, maybe we didn't uh, haul like a ridiculous amount, but, you know, it still was a lot of time on the road, which was, which was all fun. Uh, just meeting a lot of great people um, and you know doing a lot of fun stuff and of course that doesn't always add up to a, a big win but uh, in this case it did so very happy for that um, you may not know my wife shows it as well so uh, you know being able to show with her is kind of you know icing on the cake now you're from Canada so does that mean you had a lot of time or I mean it's a little bit hard because you got to go that much further to go to the shows um, how much time away from home did you have and how do you how do you juggle that right well it, it's not that bad actually we're uh, we're in the US about six months of the, of the year and uh, a lot of that we're showing so uh, we kind of take our time a little bit ahead of the show and after the show to uh, either be in the the Phoenix area where uh, our trainer Mike Wood is uh, or just enjoy whatever show we're at from uh, California, Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico. They're just awesome places to be and spend some time. So uh, we tried to smell the roses along the way. Tell me, um, what are some of the highlights of the year that, that really stand out to you? Right. Well, it seems like every place we've been, every, every location there was a show, it's just been exceptional. We get to see a part of the U.S. we probably wouldn't have saw otherwise. Uh, many are small towns like uh, Ignacio, Colorado, um, but they put on such great shows. And then we'd make some side trips and go to Durango and uh, you know check out some of the restaurants and places to see. So um, you know, just it's just been so fun uh, doing that. And um, you know, North America is such a great place to do some traveling in. It's so pretty. Uh, no state's the same. Uh, you know, even though there's some similarities. So, uh, you know, we checked out some craft beer in a few places and things like that. So, Did you take time off work or could you do work on the road? I could probably do some work on the road, but I've uh, got the good fortune of retiring a couple of years ago. Oh, right. So, uh, so now my wife and I can kind of, you know, jump in with both feet and do this uh, essentially as much as we want to do it. Okay, now you've got an interesting story because you're actually like um, a baby in terms of cutting experience and you've already won a world title, which is very impressive. Tell us about your journey and how long ago you started and you know how it's developed for you. Yeah, sure. Well, we, um, we uh, back in Canada, had bought a few cutting horses and uh, at that time we didn't, we didn't do a lot of showing. Uh, we did uh, some cutting at the ranch and uh, went to some club shows, things like that. And then I guess as I saw that uh, retirement was on the horizon, we, we knew we wanted to do this uh, a little more. So uh, we, we checked out uh, Mike Wood in the Scottsdale area and we thought, you know, that's kind of a nice place in the world. It's uh, warm uh, a lot of the months, unlike, you know, to be honest, where we're from. So uh, we, we landed there and uh, that's just been exceptional for us. Uh, Mike and uh, uh, Roper Curtis, uh, you know, the management is so awesome, all the people we've met. Um, and then I guess what comes with that is such awesome help at the barn, at the shows, uh, in, the, in the ring. Tell us about your horse, Raid. Well, uh, you know, I, to be honest, don't know a lot about his, his heritage and breeding, but he is just uh, such a gentleman to work with. Uh, he's awesome. <laughs> and I got the uh, best horse in the world on my jacket because of him. Yeah. So it's tough to say. <laughs> You've obviously got a real bond with this horse. Yeah, he, uh, he couldn't be better. Like, uh, zero complaints. He, uh, he's been healthy. Uh, strong, um, he's, he's the horse. <laughs> You're a team. Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations, it's a great effort. Oh, thanks very much.